All right, so we have him on the phone right now, Jim Mackingvale. So you did something crazy this week, didn't you? Yesterday, you put on a, down a lot of money on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I did. I bet a lot of money on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playing the game on Sunday. $3.46 million. You got them at three and a half. You paid a little extra. You paid minus 127 VIG. Have you been rooting for the Bucks all year, or is this just something like it's come down to one game and you feel like um, parting with a lot of your mattress money? Well, here's what it is. We're having a promotion right now that says the customer buys a mattress from us. A Tampa Bay Daily Assurance Foster has it delivered for the big game on Sunday, February 7th in Tampa. If the team from Tampa wins the big game, then you get your mattress free, free, free. We sold millions of dollars worth of mattresses, so this is a head bet. But are you a big? Are you are, are you particularly interested in the Buccaneers? Why why uh, do you feel so uh, good about going with Tampa here? My prediction is for whatever it's going to be a very close game and. Uh, the way the ball bounces will determine the uh, outcome, but I certainly like the uh, three and a half. I like the Tampa Bay team. I like the fact they're playing at home. And Jim, do you remember your first big bet or your first big bet on a Super Bowl or a sporting event? My first really big bet was uh, in 2005 when uh, Vince Young in Texas played uh, uh, USC in the Rose mm -hmm. Bowl, and I went to Las Vegas before the game and bet a few hundred thousand dollars on Texas. They were big underdogs, and they won that game. So that was my first big bet, winning about 350000 or something. What does someone who bets $3.5 million on a football game buy for his or her sweetheart on Valentine's Day? Uh, my wife is very understanding of my uh, <laughs> hedges and promotions that I do. And uh, when I told her I was going to do, you know, I lost $9 million on Seattle uh, who was a Denver game Super Bowl in New York many years ago. Yeah, you had Denver. I didn't hit, I didn't hit that at all. A, uh, a pro tip, if you would, though, for us, Mattress Mac, what, whatever happened to waterbeds? Are those still a thing? Mm. Do people buy waterbeds anymore? Well, waterbeds were very popular in the 70s, and then they started low-balling the price. They got one of every waterbed cost $99, and they put themselves out of business. They they had a circular firing range, and they kept eating their own young, and they ended up with nothing. So water beds were very uh, popular in the 70s, and it was a good mattress. It was, mm. but they killed it. Well, eating your own young was popular in the 70s, too, so that makes sense. You've done it all, Jim Mattress Mac. For God's sakes, he has $3.46 million on the Tampa Bay Bucks. Good luck to you. I think uh, Tom Brady's going to kiss you on the mouth if, uh, if, if you pull Ooh. off a win here.